in the car this morning while Nate's been getting the children ready. A whippersnipper, this is the first whippersnipper I've ever owned. A saw, some of oh, these are tools that stay in the car. Batteries for the saw, some petrol, two stroke oil, folding saw, which was donated to us by a subscriber. Big thank you to them. So uh, with that kind of information, put down in the comments what do you think this video is going to be about. You know you've become uh, kind of Russian when you start getting dressed into your work clothes at work. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm all uh, all ready for working. I'm just going to put the whip snipper together and try and kind of clear a path. I'm going to clear a path out to the back there um, and to the front door of the house. See what's inside the house. We're going to be pulling that down because it's pretty cactus. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of interesting things here. We have uh, some rubbish, uh, what looks like maybe an old light of some kind, some bits and pieces of more rubbish. So this is what I was interested in. Maybe one of you guys can tell us what this is. Um, there's berries growing through here, all there. Some kind of uh, tree there with berries on it, looks like. Or maybe not. I have to have a closer look. Got rubbish. More rubbish. This looks like it might be all right. So you give it a kick. Yeah, solid. I'm gonna have to go through here and clean this up. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Old boots, a plate. Um, well, the beams are, they seem kind of solid. Some old plates. What's that? Some kind of garden tool maybe? Pretty cactus too. Who knows what we'll find in here. Some old chairs, that stuff's gonna have to go. A few bricks and bits and pieces. Storage, I guess. Switch here. Oh, I've left it on. Let's put that back up. This is interesting. It's got like insulation and stuff. Maybe they kept animals in here. Oh yeah, cool. I use this bucket where you just stick it there in the garden. It looks like it's in a pot, but it's really just going through to the ground. All right, I'm gonna get started working, so you're not the only person doing stuff. I just gotta unpack the car, get the whip snipper ready, and um, yeah, busy, busy, busy. wasn't spinning. So now we should have it working. time in the little hut. How's your new toy? Yeah, it's good. 
Mr. EMF man? The, uh, yeah, shouting. It's raining, so we're going to go up inside. I'm going to get that back. Maybe. Uh, the blade works really good for cutting trees and stuff. Like if you've got really thick, kind of stalky weeds like these ones, uh, then it's good. But for the other kind of grassy stuff, it's not really good. So I want to change the blade. So you can see rain, rain, rain. It's uh, raining quite a bit. But then we've got this little overhang here. I can stand out here in the light. There's our little candle for keeping mosquitoes away. It's the only fireplace we can afford. <laughs> the only fireplace we can afford. You're hilarious. It's uh, creating a bit of mood lighting. Let's have a quick peek up here. The ladder doesn't work. Oh, there's a bit of a hole there. That's where the chimney used to be. Yeah, but you don't put any dirt And you guys get the first look. I've not been up here. Is it any good? I have no idea. What's Mama that? Nora. Nora or something? Nora Day Mummy Is that what they're called? It's pretty cool. They're called Nora. Not Nora? What are they called in Russian? Nora. 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 I know what those ones are called. So the rain has uh, subsided and uh, we are going to get stuck in. It's not really the best time to be cutting the grass and a lot of this, like if you can see over here, those weeds over there are almost as tall as I am. Uh, some of them are taller. Some of these uh, weedy trees that just grow everywhere. And um, we've even seen some cannabis, which we've been chopping down. It just kind of grows wild here. It's uh, burdock. Lots of uh, very medicinal plants. And about here is where we want to put a garage or house or something. So I'm going to walk around the other side and just see, but I think we're going to be taking a lot of this down. Maybe we'll transplant some because it's actually like cherries or something they're not, they're not ready, ready yet but this is all cherries the sun found a wheel all oh, the roof is just caved in looks like <coughs> the um rot the battens have rotted and it's just slowly all rotted what is it you found a tire where did you find it? Um, at the back of that house. Light bulb. <laughs> See, does the light switch work? Nope. Nope. The light has been turned off. Look at this. You can tell that it's all sinking. Yeah. You got the door. <laughs> Look at that. And uh, logs are just falling down over here. The whole house looks like it's falling down. Floor's still pretty solid. So some nice big boards in here. Might be able to salvage them for something. Old Russian stove, which is kind of fallen in. Looks like they've taken, usually this is like a steel plate in the top here. It's all gone. And there you can see the clay that gets put on the walls crumbling off. Like some kind of lattice thing type structure on there to hold it but there's heaps of books in here there's little tigers in here too yeah little toy tigers or little ornamental ones it's like a cabinet with like glass doors in here too crazy well, there's the hole down under the building yeah seems pretty good i've cleared a little bit of a path here from around the thing. Look how tall this stuff is. Crazy. And it's all trees. This isn't like, uh, this isn't just like Krapiva or uh, Sticky Nettle. This is actual trees. Like this here, this here. Look at that. That's like a tree. And it grows like that. And then, where's the bigger one? There's a bigger one around here somewhere. 
Anyway, they grow really big. Um, so we're getting them cut out now. We've got these cherries over here, but we're not gonna keep them because these ones are sour. And we wanna put a building here. So, uh, yeah. All right, look, here we are. Look at, this is the sort of thing we're cutting through. This was a cherry tree. It's an actual tree, like that's wood. That's not just like a hollow thing. This is what we cut down with the help of that saw over there. Now, whipper whippersnipper saw is a weapon and uh, it is awesome for this sort of thing. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna move the car around the back here. There's like a road at the back that we can pull in through. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do that now and then carry on. We've got a whole patch of this trees and stuff to put here. Make a plan of what to do next. They're very mm. sweet when they're the right. Mm. They're pretty good, eh? So this is like a black currant bush. It's massive. And you can see some of the old ones they're all shriveled. And there needs a good prune. It's right on the boundary though, so I don't know whose it is. Mountains, very nice. And uh, this is my next job here. I'm gonna cut down all this because this is like a, it's a type of maple. I think it's called black maple or something. I think that's what they said. Um, in any case, it's a weed and it's coming out because um, it's just it's too much of it and it grows into like a forest and doesn't have any doesn't serve any purpose for us. So we're going to get rid of it. And uh, obviously, beautiful thistles. Uh, no, not thistles, stinging nettle and thistles are over there somewhere. Nice that one. Mm hmm You taste it? Yummy? Yes. Sweet. Well, that's it for part two guys we really had fun clearing the block and getting all the plans together for what we want to build here on our block um yeah it was it was a lot of fun we hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a like let us know what you thought down in the comments below and uh yeah next video is going to be an interesting one especially for people who are wanting to move to russia or have moved and are looking at land um, because we learned something that we did not think that we would need to know about and we found it out the hard way so yeah stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and we'll see you next time guys bye bye